Okay, so just experience. Most of you, uh, who knows what your experience is for these other ones, but, but most of you would say that uh, the most like just sitting calmly in a car going not at all is sitting calmly in a car going 155 miles an hour constant speed. So, so now we go back to physics. What is different about A and B? Or what's the same about the car sitting motionless and the car going 155 miles an hour? If we go back to physics and we look at that momentum chart, the momenta certainly aren't the same. The momentum in one case, the momentum is, is zero because I'm not moving at all. In two cases, the momentum is really tiny because I'm going five miles an hour. And in the other case, the, I can't even draw it, the momentum is uh, a giant vector because it's hundred, because I'm going 155 miles an hour. So it, it can't be the initial momentum. Final momentum aren't the same either, by the way. So, so what's the same? Yeah? Change in momentum is the same between just sitting there at zero and not changing your momentum, motionless, not moving, and 155 miles an hour at a constant speed. The change in momentum is exactly the same in those two situations. Momentum is not changing at all in either of those two situations. In both of those, you get to just sit here all relaxed. In the other two, your momentum is changing very, very fast. Your momentum is changing quickly. The momentum change is happening in a small amount of time. So delta t is small, and the momentum change is comparatively big. It certainly isn't zero. And so you end up with gigantic forces. When you're going 60 miles an hour and you hit the brakes, so your head is going 60 miles an hour, and you stomp on the brakes, What's happening to your head? Changing momentum or not? How many say changing momentum? You hit the brakes, your head better change momentum. Okay, it better. <laughs> or, uh, let's not talk about it if it doesn't. Um, what object interacts with your head to change its momentum? Any guesses? Well, assuming you don't hit the steering wheel, what's connected to your head? Y your neck. There's only one thing that stops your head, unless somebody reaches over and holds your head up. There's nothing that, or unless your seat belt is somehow across your face. <laughs> the only thing stopping your head when you do that, when you stomp on the brakes like that, is your neck, which is why it can be injured. It's the thing that's there. It's the thing that stops your head. Um, any questions about, I mean, I think you all know what's going on there. Delta P is the thing that counts in this world. It's the thing that you feel. All right, a car is initially at rest then begins to move forward as the driver pushes the gas pedal. Which of the forces listed below pushes the car forward? So a car has a driver in it. Um, a car is, is, when I say car, I mean the thing that you might buy from somebody. It's got wheels, it's got an engine, all of those things are parts of a car. So when I say car, I'm saying the physical system that's all of those things plus the driver, because the driver's sitting inside there too. What transfers momentum to the car from something else? Talk about it all you want. 
What is that thing, that object interacting with the car, that pushes the car forward? 